What's up YouTube, it's Vinny here, going to show you a quick video um, on how to install an STI cluster in your WRX. Um, again, like I said, quick video. If you guys have any questions, please message me or comment on, on the uh, video and I'll try to get into as much detail as I can. Now I'm going off of um, all the information I looked up by myself all there's just all all these kinds of forms and you know nasioc and everything else everyone's trying to you know say do this do that and it kind of got a little confusing so i did find a good wiring diagram that i'll put a link in the description for um, that i went off of and i'm going to show you guys the actual wires to switch around the colors of them because they're not they just tell you the pins but they don't tell you it doesn't tell you which pin is which and everything and sometimes it, it gets confusing for people so i'm just going to go ahead and show you what i did so okay starting off to show you guys um there's three connectors okay people label them a b and c um whatever you want to call it um but this uh this is i11 which is your fuel gauge and stuff okay i10 which is the center and then um i12 which is your power basically to everything and that's just the one that's in front of your speedometer so just remember it's 11 10 12 okay so starting off um first thing you got to do is these uh the the i12 and the i10 are actually the plugs are identical they'll fit okay so you don't have to do any cutting or shaving away to get the connectors to fit in okay the wiring is a little different which i'll get to that in a minute but the connectors will fit directly in okay so for your i11 um that's this bad boy right here he has an extra set of two prongs on the side so if um i'm not sure i'm going to show you this but okay if you want to pause the video you can count the prongs or if you just want to listen i'll just tell you straight up um there's three prongs three there's three pr uh, prongs on the left and then there's a row of four up oh, well if you're looking up the top there's four on the right so with this on our left on the left side there's three and on the right side there's three so on the STI cluster there's actually the actual STI connector is gonna have two extra prongs one on the top and one on the bottom down here to make it a row of four or well a row of four over here you know what I mean so uh, basically what you have to do to get this your WRX um, to get your WRX connector to fit in your STI cluster you're gonna have to shave you can see I shaved I cut the plastic these two little strips of plastic on the top okay just on the top of the connector so the one where where this button is this little release clip okay that's the side you want to shave the plastic off on the back side you can leave these these plastic things that's what they normally should look like um, you can leave that so leave leave these on the bottom but on the top of the connector shave them off I used a razor blade or well like a yeah like a razor knife kind of thing to cut them off and I also used a pair of uh, dykes so you can get dykes and um, you can kind of you know find a way to you know clip them off just be careful don't stab yourself or anything or ruin the connector but uh, yeah so cut those off that's the first step okay um, once you do that it should fit right in um, okay step two you're gonna go over to your i12 connector and you're going to there's going to be a wire it's going to be it's this wire right here okay this uh this is a orange and white wire and it goes in c9 so like i said these connectors are a b and c they go by a a is the left b is the middle and c is the right so c9 would be flip this over okay so the first empty ones, that's C1, and then two, three, four, and you count all the way over to this other empty one right here. Let me see if I can get to focus. Sorry, guys. Okay. That empty one is C9. Now, the reason that mine is empty, and this is not for everyone else, okay? This is stock. With this stock, it should come with this wire, okay? This wire right here inside of here of this of this empty port right here that empty one right there that's c9 okay what i ended up doing was i popped 
I pop the top of this thingy off, the, the top of this clip, you pop that up, and then if you flip it around, see how there's two sets of holes, right? Well, this top row of holes is um, where you can put a little screwdriver or a little pick inside of it to release to release each one of these um, wire connectors. So I put it through, um, if you're looking at it this way, with the, uh, with the release button on the bottom right here, okay? C9 would be the second one right here, okay? That second one. You can see how there's no metal in it, right? That's the one where I, I took that connector out, okay? A lot of people say you can cut them, which at first I did, okay? I did cut the wire. But for later on, you're gonna need this C9 wire for something on your B connector. So just bear with me, okay? So if you want, you can cut it and it'll be fine. But um, people are running into issues where you have, there's a rear diff temp, uh, there's a rear diff temp, um, what's it called? Rear diff temp uh, light on your, on your cluster. It's not, you're not gonna be able to see it through here, but it, it's right here basically. And people can't get it to go out because they're missing, they're actually missing a, uh, they're missing a wire that's supposed to be on this B connector. So back to what I was saying, cut that C, cut that, cut that wire C9. Okay. I'm just going to show you one more time. Um, if you're looking at the back of, where is it? Okay. If you have the connector like this, okay. The button on the bottom. Okay. C1 is this first empty one. Okay. C2 is this green and black wire. That's C2. And then just keep counting three, four, five, whatever, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. C9 is in between this blue and red and the red and white or the, well, the white with the red stripe. Okay. So that's C9, the empty slot. All right. And actually there is numbers on there. I think maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. So you cut that wire. Okay. Next. Um, oh yeah. And by the way, before I go on the, in the link in the description that I'm going to put is going to tell you what each wire does. Uh, so, you know, like before you cut it, it'll say like, you know, it'll say, okay, cut seat nine and that's going to disable, you know, this light or whatever, or, you know what I mean? So, just go buy it on there. I don't. I have it on my phone, but I'm recording it with my phone, so I can't tell you right offhand what it does. But it's all going to be on that uh, diagram thing. So I'm just going to. I'm basically showing you guys what wires to cut. Which one is each wire that they're talking about? Okay. So on your C connector, like I said, cut C9. Okay. Or you can leave it attached, and if you know how to carefully take out C9, take that. Just take the whole um, the whole wire out of the out of, out of the uh, connector, okay, and leave that metal leave the metal um, end on it that basically clicks into the uh, connector. We need that you need that connector end, okay. So you, say you have your C9 wire, right? Okay, you have your C9 wire. You're gonna want to take your C9 wire, okay. All right. So this is to get your rear diff light to go out you're gonna get that and you're they say okay on your b connector which is the big one the middle one okay they say you're they say b4 terminal b4 you want to ground okay so on a lot of wx's well any of them that i've seen and i've seen people post about this where this this orange and white wire is going into there is no there's there there never was a a a rear diff temp on on a WRX. They're only on STIs. So these pins, the so pin B4, which is where this wire is going in right now. That's pin B4. It's empty. There's nothing in there. So basically, you got to make your own ground, right? You got to ground it out yourself. So like I said, you take the take the C9 wire from here. Take C9 and just basically pull it out, and you're gonna put it in B4 on the um, on this connector. So just to show you guys how to tell which is B4, we're gonna again have the release button on the bottom. We're gonna lay it flat, okay? Now it goes um, goes from bottom to top. So this black and white wire right here is B1. And then this green wire right next to it, green wire is B2, okay? 
and so on, so on. You count down. So uh, you know, B three, and the the the, uh, the orange and white wire. B four, and then B five is empty. B six is the red and brown. B seven is empty. Okay, and so on. You count down. So up here. All right, so wait, so once you get this, once you get this wire in there, you're basically, I just got to connect it. I didn't connect it yet because I just wanted to show you guys. You're going to have that wire, right? And you can just, just ground it, just put it straight to a ground basically. Or if you have it still connected and you didn't cut it, like I said, I believe you can actually just connect it. You can keep it connected to itself. Just keep it connected basically and just take out the head. Take out the connector head and put it in here and because this is normally a ground anyways i think so uh yeah so um basically you just whatever you do however you want to do it ground b4 okay that's going to get your rear diff temp light to go out all right so next step um you're going to get again your b connector that's the big one for the, the center of your cluster okay so you have a b and c Okay, you get you go to your B cluster or your B sorry your B connector, and you take out um, B28 and you move it to B16. So B15 is the top is this top one right here. B16 is this blue and red wire. Okay, so I already have this done. So this blue and red wire is going to be in B28, which if you look over here. This missing wire right here in, be in between this red and the black is B28, okay? You're going to pop that that out, okay? You're going to take that connector head out. Don't cut the wire or anything. You're going to get that out, and you're going to move it right over to B16, okay? Now, again, I'm just showing you the connectors. Um, the button is down, okay? So that's B16. You put that into B16, okay? And... Yeah, and that's basically it, guys. Um, once you do that, just make sure everything's taped back up real good. Um, get it to focus. And it should work great. So um, if you want to give me two seconds, I'll plug mine in to show you. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I'm just going to let it sit right here for a second. Um, I'm just going to test. I'm going to show you this B4 wire that I grounded to show you the test to make sure that um, it works. So I'm just going to uh, attach it to an external wire that I'm going to ground to just like my door or wherever I have an open ground at. Um, okay. Let me just sit. I'm going to sit this over here for two seconds. Let me see. Where can I get it to stay? I'm just going to connect my cluster real fast and show you guys uh, what I'm talking about. So let me just plug it in. I'm not going to plug in the fuel side right now because I'm not done in there and that's just another connector I got to take off. So if, just for right now. Okay. All right. All right, so let's see. How am I going to show you this shit? Okay, so. All right, let me get this fucking wire untangled. Okay, so you have this black ground wire, black ground wire that I just attached to the B4 just to show you real quick what I'm talking about with this whole grounding shit and all that. So, start her up. Okay, everything works good. All right, now, get out of here. Let me show you. All right, so, if you look in, let me turn the cluster a tiny bit. Okay, you look there, there's the rear diff temp light, okay? Now, I'm going to show you, I have that wire that I attached to there, right? So I'm going to bring this over here, and I'm just, just in it as an example, I'm going to touch my door, which is ground. Alright, where is it? There's, there's no light, ready? Now I'm going to, di I'm going to take my finger off the ground, and it's going to unground it. Light comes on, okay? So ground it, or ground it, it's off. Ungrounded, it's on. So if you guys want that light to go off, ground terminal B4, the one I showed you. All right? That's just, oh, I just had to show you that because I was just sitting there freaking out, not being able to figure out what wires is which and all that shit. So, yeah. So um, the reason, like I said, this is blinking and all that, none of that's working right now because I didn't plug that in. So 
that the I just didn't the connector sitting right here. I just you know I mean I'm just showing you guys for how to take this diff light off. So okay, so um yeah, if you guys have any questions, um feel free to message me. Um like I said, I, I'm not sure if I told you guys I have an 06 Subaru WRX limited. Uh it's the same thing as any Subaru WRX that's an 06 or 07. Um the STI cluster I have is a, is from a it's from a 06 STI so it's it is like a direct from like it was directly from 06 STI to 06 WRX so I didn't want to get any other year I just didn't want to risk it so this is just my video on how I did it um, the other information is these clusters will come out supposedly I've heard the same ones that are in an 05 STI 06 STI and 07 STI they're all the same they're considered the version nines which is basically I don't know why they go by versions that's like a Japanese thing I think or I don't know something they did in Japan but uh, all I know is they consider the version nines to be from the 05s 06s and 07 STIs um, and basically this tutorial if you have an 06 or an 07 wrx this is the this is the cluster you'll probably want to get you can also get the older the version 8 ones which i think are from 04 stis but they're not as good so uh yeah i don't know they're just there's something i don't know the, the i just heard that these are better so uh, i would just go by these um yeah, I got mine on eBay, and yeah, so it works out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, but I just thought I'd show you guys a quick video. Like I said, if you have any questions on this, just shoot me a message or a comment, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I usually do get there. I usually do get back to you guys really quick, so I just I needed to show you guys that those colors and everything. But um, anyways, I'm, I'm babbling on. Um, yeah, so all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if that helped you out. All right, good luck with it. See you guys.